it's insurrectionary. I, I mean, she just sort of outlined a, a process which she apparently approves of or would like to envision to happen and which the major presidential candidate is forced out by kind of the threat of a conviction which would necessitate him bowing out. I don't know what she would say if the, the, the tables were reversed and given all of the Biden family's exposure to bribery and quid pro quo, you know, uh, money for exchange of uh, special pr treatment to foreign governments. If somebody said that about Biden, maybe the DOJ or special counsel would say, well, you know, Joe Biden can not face prison if he dropped out and, and quit the presidency. So. This is very dangerous what they're doing. And yes. you know, it, it and not discussed with any judgment, our... by the way. Not discussed with what? any that would be horrible. My God, that would make that would make yeah. us a banana republic if this is political. Yeah. Just saying, well, gee, you have to wonder whether some there's some political solution here, whether part of the issue is not just that Trump committed crimes, but he's planning on being back in the White House. Right. You do have to wonder that, Rachel. That's what most of the country that isn't a hard partisan hack is concerned is happening right now. And we have a deep problem with it. We, we do, and they, they seem oblivious. They're so morally smug and narcissistic. They don't think that anybody on the right would ever cease playing by the Marcus of Queensbury rules and just say, you know what? These people don't understand anything. And when we take power, we're gonna clean house and we're gonna do it legally, but we're gonna clean house. And they, they get outraged and shriek. And this is after the Russian collusion Mueller hoax. It's after the Russian disinformation laptop hoax. It's after the bogus first impeachment. And they keep doing it and pushing the envelope, jumping the shark, whatever metaphor you use. And they think that every American is going to take it. But at some key point, this is kind of a force multiplier to the chaos that's going on on the border with crime, with homelessness, the whole transgender thing. And people, you, you can start to see it uh, with the polls, that, the recent poll that people are more likely to identify themselves really in recent memory as conservative or the Bud Light, the Target, the Dodgers, the Disney pushback. I don't think they understand. They keep poking and they're creating a, a really angry American public. 